lost weight. You're just noticing? Do you know that there are more things living on your skin than humans on Earth? No. Yeah. You excited about today? Mm -hmm. Did you see our cake? Hey, nice job. There's no way you're not going to win. You mean you? We. Beam? <laughs> Come on. Oh. You have got to be fucking kidding me. Oh, my God. It's nature. Who has all this time today? Oh, my oh. God. That is so beautiful. Feels so good we can get higher. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey. See you at home. Yeah. See ya. Okay. I love you. Love you. Only half a can in the morning. He's on a diet. I know you're hungry, but you're getting very fat. Chicken hearts are his absolute favorite. Are you writing this down? I'm, I'll remember it. Okay, don't worry. She's going to remember. Aren't you hot in here? It's very stuffy. No, don't do that. I don't want him getting out. You need screens. You want me to have some put in while you're away? I need curtains. You neighbors are incredibly annoying. What's next, a water slide? That last people never left the house. What about you? Are you getting out much? I'm spending the next six weeks in a meditation retreat. That's not getting out enough for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ooh, look at the look she's giving me. How am I looking? You. You're like so unbearably pathetic since John died. Look. I get that look from Mom and Wally all the time. Oh, speaking of, I forgot. Yeah, Mom asked me to ask Stop you. Stop asking me things she asked you to ask me. You're going to be OK. Want me to just do a ponytail or something? No, I can do my own hair. Hey, you guys, when can we do something together? You know, like go out to eat or something? You don't eat. I eat. OK, well, how about a hike? No one can keep up with you. I have to smoke crack to keep up with you. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? Nobody smokes crack anymore. You ready? No. You're taking Tara to school? Mm hmm Oh. Bye. Bye.
interest in sex, moody as shit, working nonstop. He started waxing his back. Frank's fucking around on Gina. With a woman who looks 12. Don't say anything. Oh, we weren't supposed to say anything. Well, she told you how they met, right? What are you doing? <sighs> what are you thinking about? <laughs> Nothing. Todd, thank you so much. Oh. You know what? Let's thank our entire panel for sharing their stories with us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Again, our cancer survivors. What's the deal? Are you subletting? Uh, no, I'm cat sitting. I'm surprised she actually left her house. I'm Gemma Jean. Um, I hate to be that person, but this is, um, it's today and I've been trying to quit. I've cut back to like three cigarettes a day. Well, I haven't. I smoked at least 10, but that's... I, I really need to stop. You're pregnant. Only just. You cannot smoke. I know, I know. You should not be mm -hmm. smoking. Stop Trust it me, I right know. now. Take them, take them. Get them away from me. I don't want them. I'm done completely. I'm over it. Thank you. This is exactly what I needed. Oh, fuck, I left my oven on with the, f oh, fuck. Shit. Bye. your dance. Okay. What, what were you guys talking about? What? You and Helen, what were you guys talking about? Her name is Ellen. Ellen? Well, anyway, I just, um, I'm happy that you have another adult that you feel comfortable talking with. I mean, it's just so important. I'm really happy of the... Hello? 
I'm dying. Why don't you spend more time at a food bank, homeless shelter, VA hospital? No one's whining about a midlife crisis there. Narcissistic entitlement, that's the real crisis. I was uh, waiting to be introduced, but... Um... I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, wanted to introduce you to our newest Angel Committee member. This is Mary. Mary Kenley. Hi, Mary. Uh, yeah, I am. Um, so, how does this work? I mean, what are we doing here? Who's in charge? I let your girl. I, I woke up this morning with, um, I was like bleeding and cramping and vomiting and diarrhea, you name it, and, and Len, my sweetheart, was supposed to drive me to the hospital, but that stupid fucking car broke down, and my ex-husband insists on taking me, but he doesn't know about... I can't see anything. Well, what do you mean? I took a pregnancy test. Well, your bleeding's your period. Well, yeah. it was positive. False positive. Perhaps a chemical pregnancy. You know, skipping your periods isn't uncommon at your age. Well, prior to menopause, perimenopause, womenopause, seems fair to say, right? You may experience very erratic cycles. Mood changes, sleep disturbance, dry skin, weight gain, extreme breast tenderness or uh, loss of breast fullness, incontinence, vaginal dryness. Oh my god. Hey. Don't focus on the sun going down. The night's still young. I order them extra bloody, appropriately. It's the middle of the day. <laughs> bloody Marys aren't daytime? This um, committee that you're so obsessed with, what does that have to do with angels? We're volunteers. You should come to a meeting with me. And you do this why? For the school? You know, if I don't do it, then... Oh, well, someone else will. poquito de comer para el ángel de mi corazón. Kat, this is Len. Len, and it's mi amiga. Kathy. 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 Notice me not smoking right now? You can thank Pat. Oh, muchas gracias, Gatita. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ay. Tantos <laughs> celos. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like your mom's going all out for Thanksgiving, huh? Should be fun seeing your cousins. 
I mean, we could be making so much money that way. Yes. Yes. That's great. Posters. Buttons, mugs, calendars, anything you can print out, we can do. Anyone else have any ideas about how we can do? I mean, what do you think about this? I mean, it's, the sky's the limit with it. Yeah. Oh, hi. What's going on? We, we voted last week to start meetings a half hour earlier. An email was sent out confirming. I don't think she was here last week. Mm -mm. She wasn't. Oh, well, remind me to give you a copy of last week's minutes, uh, Jane. It's Kathy. So there's a rat in there, and you're sure it's in there. Mm hmm Just shove it out of there before the thing skitters out. Oh, my gosh. Done. Push it. With all of your energy, you should be, like, running the country, or at least your own business or something like that. Well, you know, I did for years. Mm. And? I had Tara. How convenient. What's the real reason? That's the real reason. No, it isn't. Just be honest. I am being honest. I know you. Uh, you really don't. <laughs> I am you. You need perspective. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <coughs> huh. Oh. Oh, what? <coughs> what is in this? I shouldn't have done this. Oh. What am I? Is this a bodysuit? Is this the whole thing connected? Yeah. Yeah. Why would you wear something like this? Yeah, this is my baby. <laughs> Don't you say hello? You're drinking? It's juice. Just. <clears throat> Don't. Come on. <gasps> mm. Juice, right. What's in the bucket? Just ignore the bucket. No, 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 no. <laughs> So this was them. That's love. So lucky. He died. Well, mine's alive and won't leave. <laughs> Are you together? Are you separated? Divorced? Maybe we would be if it wasn't such a hassle. Are you? Divorced? No. no. We know what they say. Marriage is for men. Divorce is for women. They say that? Yeah. Hold on. All of this for one cat? Well, where does Len fit in to all of that? Oh, she doesn't. Which, um, you know, works out perfectly for us. Oh, she's having a party tomorrow night. You should come with me. Oh, we leave for Thanksgiving break tomorrow. Give thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just leave out a bunch of food and water, it'll be fine. Gail would kill me. Yeah. You know what? I probably should see a doctor. Damn. You guys just go, and I'll meet you there as soon as I get this all figured out. Look, I love you. Bye now. Call me when you land. God, I would kill for a girl. The son's essentially takes the wife. A daughter's a daughter her entire life. 
My son stopped talking to me when his voice changed. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. His voice before. Everything before. It's like I dreamt it. How's your hand? <sighs> Throbbing. Oh. Oh. Here. These are for my back. They're great. Just take half, see how you feel. Where's your bedroom, hmm? I want to tour the whole house. It's um, down the hall from Tara's room. did for years. <laughs> well, why did you stop? I, um, I saved the most important ones for my daughter. <gasps> this is exquisite. Well, I can't take it off. I can't. So I'll be really careful with that. She's in the hospital, there's been an accident. What? Injuries were minor, mostly from the airbag. We need to go right away. I... You okay seeing here with Xander? Of course, yes, go, go, we need to go. I'll be back soon. Awake? I'm so sorry. Your mom is... I heard. Well, she's okay. Your dad is gonna be right back. Are you okay? You can go. You shouldn't be alone. Yes, I should. Well, your dad asked me to stay. You seem so... like a normal person. What are you doing with my mom? She gave you those. No. How many have you had? No, she left them at my house. Yeah, <clears throat> just be careful with them. Well, they're from my hand. You're that lady, aren't you? From the assembly with that group. I, I am, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. you can go. You should stay away from my mom, for sure, and go home before those pills kick in. Oh, watch your step. All right.
Sorry, your door was wide open. What? Your door, it, it was open. Oh, uh, I, I, I must, have left, must have left it open in case the cat came back. Um, well, I was, I, um, Gemma Jean, she said this was yours. I can't thank you enough for, for everything. So. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> After the insanity that Gemma Jean put you through? <laughs> well, you know, I got myself in that situation. So. I'm afraid to ask what happened with Xander. I mean, he can just be oh, totally. No, he's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'll uh, see you later. OK. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right. I forgot you gave this to me to hold. Oh, I never asked what happened. Oh. Oh. Um. Does it hurt? Probably have some ointment, too. I don't know if. Yeah. Maybe. It's uh, probably going to get infected. Is that okay? I don't know. Yeah, it is. Oh. Oh. What else? What else do you fantasize about? Singing like Stevie Nicks. It's <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> so kid-like, I love that. I wish mine were that innocent. Why? What are yours? You don't want to know. They're very violent, actually. told you that. I'm so sorry. I did. Why 
really beautiful. I would never actually mutilate anyone or anything. They're just, they're not real. I've never done this. Oh, never? What are you doing? Where are you going? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, where was he? Come here, here's a reward. Is this for the cat or for keeping my mouth shut? What? You guys weren't exactly discreet. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Did you know cats can predict earthquakes? Have you read Making Rounds with Oscar, The Extraordinary Gift of an Ordinary Cat? It's this nursing home adopted a cat to you know, comfort all of the old people, but it turned out that he was really shy and he wouldn't interact with people unless they were right about to die. And then he just appears in their room and is all like affectionate and starts purring and stuff. It's so creepy, so cool, amazing read. Anyway. An iPad would be good, you know, in exchange. In exchange for what? I think you know. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I told you, I don't know. It was alive when I put it in the thing. It just, it, it seemed weak. Mm. You didn't do anything to it? No. Why would you even ask me that? No, it probably ate some of the rat poison mom had me put everywhere. And what's this crap about an iPad? Say you're sorry. For what? Say you're sorry. It's okay. No, it's not. Say it. I'm sorry. Good. Now dig. Dig! Ah! She asked me to go with her. To rehab? Yeah, it's a couple's rehab. It's the first time that she's ever really wanted to try. I never thought she would ever want to. Okay. And look, it's probably pointless. I'm nuts, right? And right now, like everything with us, it's just the timing is terrible. Hey, hey. I'm married. Are we married or? Paul, go work on your relationship, all right? Won't that be great? Especially for Xander. Yeah. All right. Um, my parents are gonna be staying here with him and they're kind of out of it. So if you could just keep an eye out while you're here, so you can burn the house down or anything. Sure, I'll check on him. I'm sure he's okay. Thank you. That means so much to me. Yeah. Thank you so much. Don't, 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 don't. All right. Oh, what? Uh, 
Is she okay? Uh, let me talk to her. Let me talk to her. I just want to tell. Well, well, can you just put the phone up to her ear and I'll. Well, because I'm her mother. How was the flight? You thirsty? You're probably hungry. <sighs> yeah, thank oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Um, you guys, you want a snack? You want a snack? Hey, you know what? What? I am so sorry I wasn't there. Uh, it's no big deal. <sighs> it is a very big deal. I'm sorry. Tell me what happened. Nothing happened. Please. I didn't even know I was bleeding. I stood up and everybody's freaking out because I stained the white couch. Grandma's white couch. Dad couldn't deal, so Aunt Laura had to drive me to get pads and told the entire world in Walmart. Where's your suitcase? You want it to trickle, not gush. Because the more it gushes, the more you will gush. You have water? No, blood. That's what my mom told me. She called it the scarlet stranger. No wonder you hate her. I don't hate her. <laughs> she lives like five minutes away and we never see her. Well, yeah, but I don't hate her. What do you like about her, then? Well, she collects things, like feathers and fans, tin boxes. Um, oh, she loved cooking shows and, like... Well, I didn't ask what she liked. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Forget it. I'm sorry, what was the question? Is it okay if I go to Leanne's? Yeah. You eat these? They're delicious. How long has it been since you've washed your hair? I don't know. Just a trim, right? Yeah. What's that? Nothing. Hey. <laughs> How'd you know my size? Lucky guess. Well, you look great. How do you feel? Decent. Yeah. Oh, what'd you think of the uh, ginger wheatgrass shot I gave you? You know, if you take one of these a day, with a little apple cider vinegar, you'll be young forever. Why would I want to be young forever? What's the alternative? Growing up. Did my dad pay to do all this? No, nobody's paying me. You bought me a ton of stuff. I wanted to. Why? Thanks. Yeah. Why aren't you eating? Why aren't you in any activities? Do you like sports or? I've seen you writing. What kind of stuff do you like? I to don't write? know. You're being nosy. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you do? Are you, are you a hairdresser? No. <laughs> okay, a, a what? For, for real, I'm asking, are you a, a chef or a teacher or something? No. No? So you're just, you're good at everything then? And great at nothing.
involved in something other than dance. It's fun. It's exercise. What, what is the point of doing it if she's never going to be great? She should at least pursue something that she has a chance at. She's not interested in anything I do. I wish you played a sport, because then maybe she was... So if I played a sport, that would just change everything. Did I say that? Just say what you mean. Stop being so aggressively passive-aggressive. Well, why do you think that is? I don't know. Why don't you just speak your fucking mind? Hello? Oh, Kathy. Sanders not picking up. I had nobody else to call. Where are you going? I don't know whose idea it was to put a bunch of fucked up couples together for four weeks, but that person should be shot. Whatever this is, it's not working. I can barely look at Paul. The man has nothing to say. They refuse to give me any decent fucking painkillers. I'm being tortured. God, I'm in so much fucking pain right now. Do they have visiting hours? Because, you know, uh, maybe I could drive Vander. Oh, he doesn't want to come. He doesn't want to come. He won't even answer my phone calls. Why would he come visit me? No, don't say that. He does not care that I'm gone. Can you leave, please? I hate rehabs. How many have you been to? But you've never even been to one. You might want to hide these. They'll get confiscated. Wait. What? I changed my mind. Why? I just don't want to go, okay? Okay. Hey, we won't go. Hey, I got a better idea. Where are we? <sighs> Get this part over with first. Come on, I'm three times older than you. Is that true? I'll go if you stop doing that. I'm going. Okay? Okay? Yeah? Okay? Up, up, up. Jesus. Let's go. So you've never been on that hike before? Nope. God, you live so close. I used to take my daughter all the time. You have a daughter? Yeah. Yeah, she goes to Lincoln, too. She does? Mm-hmm. What grade? Seventh. Why aren't you with her? She's out with her friends, which is good. It's where you should be, too. I am. This is fun. Mm. I gotta go. You don't want to come in for a little bit? No, I, I really gotta go. What about our jumbo buns? I didn't order that. Yeah, sure. No. You're totally dead. Okay, Xander, you you gotta go now. I you must be so sick of me. No. The opposite. Oh, what are you doing? There's no napkins left. I have to use your shirt All right. as a napkin. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Oh. Okay. You smell so good. That's the jumbo bun. Mm -hmm. All right. Stop. Get out. Get out. So it's OK for my dad, just not for me? Both are wrong. Get out of my car.
Gail. Wow. Wow. How was the retreat? Life changing, <laughs> I see. Yeah. That one looks so. What is all this? I know it was probably really hard for you to live with all this stuff. And so I just took it all, I put it in boxes. Oh. I took it all this... and I put it. You got this all out of my closet. Yeah. But this is all John. Yes, it is all here in these boxes. I didn't throw anything out. It's all here. <sighs> that was completely unacceptable that you did that. Completely wrong. You are completely weird. You thought wrong. You just thought really, really wrong. I can't believe you did this. Where's Floyd? Where's my little mister? Floyd? John always told me not to trust you. I always told him he was wrong. I always stuck up for you. That was my mess. My life, my cat, and you, you just had to box it all up? I... Oh, no wonder, no wonder you can't deal with mom. She's you or you're her. Only you're worse! Wrong with you. Jeez. Jesus. I'm just trying to teach you a lesson. You never, ever, never, ever, never leave your car unlocked. You never know. Are you insane? You... Oh, no. No, no, no. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I came here to give you this. Now, I'm scared that you're not actually going to read it. So maybe, maybe if I read it to you, it'd be more real that way, too. It's a poem that I wrote. Um, can I? Yeah? Okay. Sure. Ready? So, here we go. Here is the deepest secret nobody knows. Here is the root of the root and the bud of the bud. You wrote this? And the, yeah. And the sky of the, the sky, sky of a tree called I life. I carry which your grows heart. I carry it in my heart. You didn't write this. I did. Oh, you're E.E. E. Cummings? It felt like I wrote it. That's what I meant. Yes. Can you meet me? Can you bring me the pills I gave you? Meet me on six and Marina. So, how high was the fence? Oh, it was fucking high. Mm -hmm. And how'd you get over it? Desperation, my back is pulling me. How far did you walk? I just, I really need something for my back right now. And to help me sleep. I haven't slept at all. Well, what are you allowed? I mean, probably not any of this over-the-counter stuff. Where are my painkillers? I gave them to you. You said you would bring them. I did? You did. You absolutely did. I don't have them. Yes, you do. I'll go. Oh, fuck. Just drive me back. Just drive me back.
Now I have to sneak back in and convince everybody that I never left. You're not getting over that. Yeah, I am. You're going to help me. Are you kidding me? What are you doing? You know you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, well, I just fucking did. Do I never shut up because they won't speak, or is it they don't speak because I never shut up? <laughs> you know, I'm sure my daughter talks. All the time. She must. Wait, your daughter? Yeah. Here. Here, do it. Fifteen. It's Andrew's age. When I had her. My mom signed the surrender paper. She never told me she did that. They promised they were going to bring her right back after, but... I got to hold her in my arms for a few minutes, though. I thought they were going to bring her right back. Paul doesn't know. Maybe now's a good time to tell him. He doesn't talk. We've been over this. I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> Ow! Oh! Are you okay? Just throw me the NyQuil. That drug coupled with the staph infection caused that reaction. What drug? Thank you. You don't have to thank me. You missed a lot of work. I used vacation days. Yeah, but this wasn't a vacation. But it should have been. I mean, when was the last time we went out? Just us. Alone together. We need a real date. I love that. Ooh, stay in bed. Uh, I'm just here to get Tara. Uh, I know she's probably going to want to stay, but I need her to come Tara's home. not here. Oh, Matthew said she was Don't here. Don't you know? Now what? Tara and Leanne stopped speaking. Leanne! Sweetheart? Come here. Tell him. Mom. What, what did she say? Well, do you know where she is? Isn't that your job, Kathy? worked on her dance. And? We played Monopoly. <laughs> you played a board game? <laughs> mm hmm With Leanne? What do I always say? If you're honest with me, you won't get in trouble. Are you being honest with me? Where were you? I was at the bluffs. How did you get there? We walked. Who's we? Just some kids from school. What kids from school? A bunch of people. You just all of a sudden met a bunch of kids from school? 
Can you explain that? I don't know. I mean, like, first I met this one guy at lunch and he introduced me to everybody else. Do you like him? <laughs> I mean, is he cute? Tell me about him. I mean, he's really smart. And funny. He just moved here last summer. Can I meet him? What's he like? crazy people. Take one. Speak. Say something. Oh, uh, gosh, there's, there's just so many things. You're not telling me. You're not calling, you're not texting me back. Oh my god. Are you getting a divorce? I'm Catherine. Hi. Matthew Tyne's wife. Oh, he's not back from lunch yet. He usually gets back around two-ish. It's 12.30 now. Takes that long of a lunch. I could call his cell phone. I could call his cell phone. <laughs> well, do you want me to leave him a message? Uh, no, I'm perfectly capable. Thank you. Tara, what's blocking the door? One second. Come on, open the door. Open the door. Hi. You having a party? What's in there? Uh, this is Xander. Xander, this is my mom. Nice to meet you. Xander walked me home since you said I wasn't allowed to go to the bluffs. Can I talk to you for a second? Just why can't like we just do it here? Just real quick. Okay. okay. Why was your door locked? It wasn't. My knapsack was blocking it. What were you doing in there? We were just talking. You gotta get him out of here. Why? He is, he is much older than you, Tara. Oh, okay. Your dad is six years older than you. <clears throat> what happened with Leanne? Why are you two not talking anymore? We're just different. Like she's still into dolls and arts and crafts and stuff. I'm just not, you're not. All of a sudden you're not. What are you doing? Nothing. You said you wanted to meet him, and he was totally into it. So I'm gonna pee. Xander. There, this is my dad. Oh, uh, is he tutoring you? No. We're friends. Friends? Yeah, from school. Uh, isn't it getting late? Yeah, it is. Absolutely. 
sorry, I didn't even realize how, what time is it? Yeah, I didn't even realize how late it was. I uh, actually, I do have to go. Um, so I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Kathy. Yeah. Bye. Why the hell is he still in middle school? He was held back in kindergarten because of a speech impediment. And then again, I think, in first grade for, like, some motor skill issues. How do you know all this? How well does she know this guy? <laughs> and, and, and you're allowing this? No. Then why is he in our house? He is not allowed in this house. Why? Because you're not old enough for boys, especially boys who shave and are easy to imagine with a semi-automatic. Are you insane? If I catch you with this guy again, trust me, there will be major consequences. Are you with me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, since when do you even care? No, it's none of your business what I do. It is entirely my business. Hypocrites. But why don't you go look that word up, Tara? You don't even know what that means. Okay, a person who pretends to have virtues, moral or religious beliefs, principles that he or she does not actually possess. Especially... Okay, drop it, drop it. You're still up? <sighs> you have time, Tara. Really? Because there's actually enough nuclear weapons to wipe out every major city in the world and only idiots in charge of them. Oh yeah, Kathy. Tons of time. Are back. Yep, they sure are. How's your mom? Is she okay? Better than ever. They're all in love again. Oh, that's great. I give it a week. So you know why I wanted to talk to you, right? You know why. What are you doing with my daughter? I hadn't seen you in a while, so I was curious. She's different. She's not at all what I imagined. You're prettier than she is. I think that's hard on her. Um, she says you're depressed, which is interesting. That's not my experience of you at all. Anyway, she's really cool. We've had some intense conversations. Xander, Tara is too young, and I'm asking you to please Stay away from her. Or what? <laughs> uh, what if I buy you that iPad? The one you wanted? Then what? What, what can I do? I don't want an iPad. However, I would do whatever you wanted if... If what? No one knows this. Don't laugh. I'm still a virgin. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. That's a, that's a good thing. I understand why you might say no to this idea, but I, I swear no one would ever find out, and I promise you I will never even look at Tara again. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. But just think about it. I'm sure you don't want Tara finding out about you and me, about you and my dad. And I'm sure the last thing you probably want is, is your husband finding out or just like people finding out. You need to get out of my car right now. Please don't be mad. Yeah. I, no, 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 I hate, I hate you feeling bad. I hate you feeling bad. I really love you. 
I do. If, if you want, I promise I'll, I'll, I'll never talk to Tara again. I'll stay away from her completely. What about these intense conversations? I'll tell you. What is she telling I'll you? tell you. I'm sorry. I should have told you from the beginning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> What just happened? Nothing, nothing. Just just give me a minute. So what's been... So what's Tara been telling you? There was a boyfriend last summer at sleepaway camp. A boyfriend? She never mentioned a boyfriend. Who? who? Leo? Liam? Leo? Liam? One of them. Something like that. Anyway, they went to second base. What does that even mean anymore? Well, I assumed it was just... Uh, second base was all she said. And I, I think she was just trying to impress me. Oh, you think she was just saying that? Like, maybe it really didn't happen? No, I think it's true, and it happened, and she wanted it to impress me. And it did. Impress me, I mean. You know, I've, I've never even... Did she say anything about any other boys? Was she molested or something, or...? She didn't mention getting molested. But, um... Can we... Are you... thinking about it? Okay, Xander? Xander? There are professionals. Maybe talk to your dad. He can take you to, uh... Are you suggesting that I lose my virginity to a prostitute? and that my dad should pay for it. Are you out of your fucking mind? I don't want a whore, I want you! What's on your lips? Nothing. Is that lipstick? It's chapstick. Take it off. She was marked absent. Yeah. Can you check again? Jesus. How the fuck is this happening? Huh? I don't know. I feel like we've both kind of been... What? I know. You know? What do you, what do you know? Just say it. Just say, say it. Say what? The truth. What? Quit with this cryptic shit. Don't lay it on me right now. Oh, you know what? You are what? the one who... My daughter is missing. And why do you think that is? This is my fault? Fuck this. Fuck you! I'm out of here! Fuck you! Get out of the way! No, I'm not getting out of the way! Get out of the way! God. 
thank God. You know, the whole world is out looking for you. Why weren't you answering your phone? Because your husband took my phone away. How long have you been here? Where were you? Why weren't you at school? I was. You're lying. I was there all morning. I only missed PE and library. Where did you go? The movies. With whom? Friends. Xander? I was with a group of people. Was Xander one of them? What are you gonna do to me if he was? So he was. I don't know. Stop lying! Why are you doing this? I'm not doing anything! Please, just leave me alone. Get out of my room! Get out of my room! Why home. are you calling Dad? Are you serious? You're calling Dad? Why? Why can't you ever just leave me alone for one second in my life? Please, just go! I hate you so much and I hope you know that. I scared you. I'm sorry. I saw you come in and I wanted to say hi. Paul and Xander are getting seats. <laughs> so you've been good? You look great. I'm good. <laughs> but you know, sometimes there's, uh, there's like this uh, fast forward feeling, I guess. Does that ever happen to you? Do you get that? <sighs> it's been nonstop therapy, Paul and I. He's talking, finally. He told me. So I know about, you know, things between the two of you. Was it? Oh, no, I get it, I get it. We were separated at the time, so it's not... Well, it might be for you. Does your husband know? Oh. Of course. It's probably best that he doesn't. It would only hurt him to know. Really have to remember not to mention that. It could be really damaging. Xander's also opened up a lot. Yeah, he started reading us his poems and his short stories, stuff from his journal, mostly his hateful feelings toward me and his father. We encourage it. He's written quite a lot about you, too. I just want you to know how grateful I am that you were there for him when we weren't. Nobody else noticed he needed new sneakers. He said he'd never felt more taken care of in his life. And with Tara, he's like a different kid with her. They're great together, don't you think? Does Tara talk about Xander to you too? I know they talk and text, but those texts disappear, so. We can't really know what's going on. If she were mine. I 
I hope you know how lucky you are. What? Wait, wait, wait. What do you have to do today? School. You want to do something fun instead? Oh, what are you, what are you talking about? I gotta... Wait, you and me. No. Shut the door. Shut the door. What, what are you doing right now? We never do anything spontaneous, mother, daughter. You know, we used to do stuff before middle school. Remember? <laughs> so what about this? What about, um... You tell me a, a Terra thing every day, just any random thing. Like, right now, what are you thinking about? I don't know. Just, what are you thinking about right now? Right this second? Yes. I'm, that you're kind of freaking me out. Well, you know what I'm thinking about? You and me going to Disneyland. Oh, are we going to Disneyland? We could. We could. Or not. We don't have to. Uh, uh, we could go on a bike ride or a hike, yeah? Anything you want to do, just name it. Um, Manny Petties, uh, a massage. A massage? Yeah, a foot massage, you'd love it. But yes. Yes? If you say so. Okay, good. doesn't open for like another hour. Oh. Huh. I have a test third period. Anyway. Okay, well, you know who lives nearby? You know, well, I don't know. Well, you don't just stop by somebody's house unannounced and you hate it when people do that. Well, I thought it would be fun. You thought this would be fun? I thought anything we did together would be fun. Yeah, well, that's the problem. You don't think about having fun, it just happens. <sighs> you know, you're right. It is rude to just show up unannounced. I hate it when people do it to me, and I'm not gonna do it now. I'm gonna leave a note. Really? Did, did you just hang up on your mother? No. No. Here, turn around. Okay. Thank you for doing this with me. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of weird. It was weird. Now go, 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 go. Next time, huh? Have a good day. She was pregnant, and there are five more in the bag. There were six, but Tyler, um, never mind. Um, they're cute, right? Surprise! Mm -hmm. Got someone to meet. Not outside. Jesus Christ, you want to kill that one too?
don't think this is going to make it all better. I thought that it should make up for Floyd. Makes up for nothing. You don't replace pets with other pets, people with other people. At least I don't. I don't. I can't replace you or mom. Have you talked to her? Who? Mom. Did she, um, I thought she might have mentioned you that. You know. Yeah, I just wondered if she'd said anything about So you just came here to ask me, to ask her something for you? Mm, well, it's been over a decade. And now suddenly it's convenient for you. You know what took you so long? <sighs> Unbelievable. Wait, wait, wait! Put that kitten away safely. It in there. Is it a girl? That's why you got a pink one, or do you I even know? I didn't look. Okay, fine. You got a blue collar, you got a pink case. It's a girl. Fine. Get her a pink collar. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. She did call me about you. She called me in tears the second she got your note. I had two sentences from you, and I thought her heart would explode. You're all she talked about. You're all she ever talked about. Well, yeah, I'm just not ready to love anything. Just take it back to your fucking fairy tale. Kathy, you know Xander, and uh, apparently you've already met Gemma Jean and Paul. I guess they're Gail's neighbors? Why didn't you mention that? I did. Oh, well, we met. It was so brief. Very quickly. Yeah, we barely, uh, we did, uh, we did help bury the cat, but. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for that. Oh. I was just at Gail's, actually, and I uh, tried to give her this. Oh, my God. Oh, is it a he or a she? Oh. Oh, sweet. You know that cat people are 25% more likely to choose George as their favorite meal? Oh. Can I speak with you? Yeah. I didn't know what else to do. I can't let my daughter be to you. If we forbid it, we're playing into it. So I thought, do the opposite, right? Invite them over. As far as I'm concerned, this kid is my new best friend, all right? We're going to kill it with kindness. Hmm? And you know what? Uh, he seems really harmless. He's kind of geeky. And I like the dad. He invited me to the Kings game. Hey, I'm back. I am willing to negotiate with you. But you gotta give me a guarantee. What? You have to promise me. Wait, what are you talking about? That you will never see Tara again. I don't want you looking in her direction. Over. I can't. Why can't you? It's too late. I don't need anything from you anymore. What are you talking about? I'm good. I'm happy. Tara's happy. We're happy. Let's just leave it at that. Listen, I know this might be hard for you to hear, and 
I'm sorry. I don't think I love you anymore. I am falling pretty hard for your daughter, though. Which is better for both of us. Why, really. why is that better? What Tara and I have is just... Okay. Is what totally do you different have? Things. What do you have? That's private. Are you jealous? Look, it's not like I don't still have feelings for you, too. Wait. Oh, you see over there with the uh, with the tree? It looks like it's a cliff and that you're totally going off the cliff, but it's not. It's completely flat. It freaks the shit out of people. What? Stay away from me and my daughter. Oh my god. What happened? You hit a mom, dickhole. Shit. Don't. Maybe, maybe we should take it to the hospital. Maybe I should call the cops. Are you okay to drive? I'm fine. I do fucked up things. Sometimes. I do. I do them. It's, it's really, it's like an attention thing combined with what I'm sure is like a testosterone thing and you were so nice to me and then you just you 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 vanished what what do you want do you want me to never talk to tara ever again because i won't i will swear it on my life especially if it means that much to you and i, I think you really need to go to the no, hospital you know that what? far it really you know, no 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 just... So what are you gonna say? How are you gonna end it? What's your plan? I'll do whatever you want me to do. Okay. I want you to say that the age difference was too great and uh, things got intense too fast and, and you know, you wanna take a break. I think that's all true. It's not true, but I'll say it if you want me to. Say that. Say exactly that.
On my Kathy. You know, he's kicking some serious ass over here. Like, give us two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. What are you doing here? That's my question. What I'm doing? Is it obvious? I mean, why wouldn't you tell me? Because I thought you'd laugh at me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, look, and, and, and you're laughing. You, you have not one nice thing to say to me ever. That is not true. It is. It's true. And anything that you say that's remotely nice, it comes out of your mouth like you don't even mean it. What are you talking about? A few months ago, I get a complimentary training session. I come in here, and I meet Maya, all right? And... We're training, and she says something about my face. That she thinks it's great, and then my eyes are amazing, or some shit like that. And you know what happened? I blushed. I felt blood move inside me, which is a feeling that I haven't had in a fucking long time, because I don't get compliments from anyone, anywhere, about anything. And this person, this stranger is kind to me. And, and yeah, I pay her. And maybe it's this is just bullshit, but it feels real. OK? Wait, no, where are you going? I'm sorry. You didn't eat dinner, so is there something I can bring you? You're not hot. And that's the problem. Stop it. You don't have a fever. Please don't make me go to school tomorrow. I don't want to see him. Why? What happened? I don't even remember. Like, it was honestly just so incredibly humiliating. Why? Because apparently I'm too young to have feelings or something. Did he say that? You've all said it. Maybe because you need to focus on other things besides having a boyfriend. Like what? Like who you are. What your interests are. What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, what did you want to be? A lot of things. And who are you? I am a lot of things. Like what exactly? Well, I'm your mom, mostly. And what about the other stuff? Well, you know, there's no guarantee that you're ever going to get to do any of the other stuff, you know? There's no guarantee you're going to get to do anything you want to do. So instead of figuring out who I am by having fun, being young, having a boyfriend, I should spend my time figuring out who I am by figuring out who I want to be? Even though it's doubtful, I'll get to be that? Well, I didn't say doubtful. I just yes, said there's no guarantee. Most people just turn out like their parents, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess just statistically that's true. So then most likely I'll turn out like you. A mom, mostly who doesn't talk to her mom. In my case, the mom I'm not talking to would be you, and the mom my kid's not talking to would be me. 
and making the future me wish I didn't waste my young life not having fun, not having a boyfriend, so that I could spend my time figuring out the thing I wanted to be that I never was. Is there something you want to tell me? Huh. Are you sure? What are these? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> so sneaky. I'm sorry. Only one left. What? Smoking. Please? good is it? How long has this been going on? This has to be my last one. <laughs> Are you hiding from me? <laughs> I want to imagine. Something uh, postmodern, maybe miscellaneous. Okay, looks interesting. <laughs> 